I am Campbell Keyes with New Filmmakers Los Angeles. Welcome to Stage 5 Interviews in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. Today, I'm speaking with Jeremy Ray Valdez about his feature film, which he produced and starred in, called The Dreamer. But before we get into it, let's roll a clip. You're through and we'll publish it in the company newsletter. Put your name in big shiny lights. Todd here was telling me you're doing quite well. Yes, sir, I am. But a lot can change in two days. So Jose, I just needed to talk to you about something that's come to my attention. I received a no-match letter from the Social Security Administration. It seems there was a problem with some of the information on your W-4. And now what? You want to come back to this dump? Huh? I can only guarantee you our busiest days, and the pay's still the same. It's $6 an hour. I just want to work. I don't expect anything special. The Dreamer is a feature film that was directed by Jesse Salmeron. I produced it, and uh, I, I star in it. Dreamer is about a dreamer, uh, an undocumented young man who came to the United States, um, not really against his will, but he was brought here as a child, un unknowingly brought to the United States from Mexico. And um, he, he goes, he's a very good student. He goes to University of Texas at Austin, gets um, straight A's, graduates, and he is now in the workforce. And through a no match letter from the Social Security, he, they find out that he's undocumented. And it, it's really a, a story about how his life is affected by his undocumented status. Do you mind? Going into detail a little bit about your filmmaking process. The film took us, uh, I think we shot it in, in uh, 28 days. Uh, and yeah, with, with any film, there are a number of challenges from, from the beginning to the end. And um, you know, like I said, I've been in this industry for, for 13 years, and, and I, I felt like I've made a lot of connections, and, and I met a lot of important people in this town. And when I got the script, I said, you know what? I can help us get financing. This is This is... This is going to be a slam dunk. The, the subject matter is prevalent. It, it, you know, people are passionate about this. And when I took it out to the people within the industry, you know, we got a lot of doors slammed in our faces. People were like, well, you know, some people said, we, we don't want, um, this, this, this is a bummer. The story is a bummer. Or somebody that's um, in the industry said, you know, Latinos don't want to see their sob stories on, on the big screen. Um, I said, OK. So I said, you know what? We're going to prove to you that people want to see this film. So what we did is we launched a Kickstarter for $70,000. And we were able to raise $70,000 in 30 days from, from the general public, from, from everybody. Everybody was giving us money. Um, grandmothers, you know, little kids. It was just amazing the way that the, that the Dreamer community, not only the Dreamer com community, but the community at large, came to bat for this film, the making of this film. Um, and we were able to pull $70,000 from thousands of people out of thin air. And I think in the economy that we're in right now, and especially that we were in three years ago when we ran the Kickstarter, that's a huge feat. And I think it really shows how committed people are and how passionate people are to the plight of the dreamer, to the undocumented immigrant in the United States. So with those numbers, taking our little bit of seed money and the obvious passion from the public, we were able to obtain private financing from other sources other than the Hollywood establishment or people within the industry who really believed in this project. And, and then, you know, there's always challenges. We were shooting on a shoestring budget in Houston, Texas, but lucky for us, you know, we were able to do it on a small budget because people are passionate about this film. People uh, worked for next to nothing. We got all our locations for free. You know, we had people really busting their ass on this because they love the subject, subject matter and they love what we're making the film about. Are you currently working on anything you'd like to share with the rest of us? Oh, absolutely. I'm always working. Uh, uh, I'm really fortunate to be able to make my living as an actor in Hollywood. And, uh, I just did a movie with uh, Gabriel Iglesias, Fluffy, the comedian, that'll be out July 11th. I just had a movie that came out, Redbox, um, On Demand, Netflix, with uh, Danny Trejo and Danny Glover called Badasses that was a lot of fun. Um, let's see, what else? 
had a movie that came out last year called Line of Duty that just, uh, that was in theaters, it just came out on um, uh, Redbox, On Demand, Netflix, etc. But I'm always working and, and trying to come up with new projects and looking for my next feature film to produce, definitely. <laughs>